the ability to collaborate with your customers and track this richer sense of data, now that's the stuff. But how we go about doing that, well, that's next. We start in the lab with Jimmy Ray and a very special guest. The subject, recording and analytics. Richie Gupta, welcome to TechWise TV Labs. Thank you, Jimmy Ray. Great to have you here. Um, so, network-based recording, what is that? Uh, we are coming out with a new product, network-based recording platform, which uh -huh. sits right above your network layer. Yeah. Right below your, your application layer, and what it enables you to do is to actually capture media, all sorts of media, audio, video, screen capture from your network layer, and capture it, process on it, p provide playback functionality, live monitoring, and also pro run analytics on it, either real time or after call. And it is an appliance which sits, as I said, right above your network LAN, utilizes the functionality of the network, and exposes rich Web 2.0 APIs to uh, further uh, integrate this into other uh, third-party applications. Here, here's the thing, though. When I think of network-based recording, I'm thinking of stuff like DMS um, and, uh, you know, that, that type of stuff. How is, is this like DMS or just like one of these... Just go two confusing products things, or, or what? What's the deal here? This is not uh, DMS. This is, as, as, as I mentioned, it's a, it's a platform which is very uh, flexible, and it's uh, it's an open architecture which uh -huh. enables you to utilize your network uh, components like your IP phones or your voice gateways or your uh, border elements, which already have this inbuilt media forking bridge, and pull in uh, uh, all sorts of media from there and store it. It also integrates the uh, provide for additional uh, storage needs. It integrates with SAN, storage area networks. So it's just a platform to actually get all your recording needs from an enterprise or in contact center and store it there and process it. You know, that's kind of cool because that really does change how we are looking at this. So what I hear you saying is that this is a, a, an appliance mm -hmm. that really does change how we're designing our network. It's almost like we have a digital media layer mm -hmm. and where we have... Uh, you know, the, these, the, this device that goes out and grabs these media forks, uh, brings in all our video, and then puts it in a database? Yes, it stores it uh, It stores it stores into SAM. It, okay. I mean, okay. we, we do have that capability. So yes. we do. So we can index it. Yes. We can run, like you said, our analytics on it and right, stuff. Right. Um, the, what else can we do with, with the product like this? Because this, I'm starting to see a little bit of the picture here. Right, um, right. But what, what else can we do here? Because this seems kind of cool. Yes. But I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, uh, so l let me actually tell you. Uh, so uh, just there are several use cases within the contact center and outside contact center in your regular enterprises. Uh -huh. And, you know, in, just take an example of the contact center. They, in contact center, uh, a typical contact center would go to thousands of calls every day. Right. However, most of the business intelligence, which is uh, through these conversation, is either not recorded or if it's recorded, it's not fully utilized uh, because it's difficult to mine the useful information. Mm -hmm. Where do so, I find it, too? I mean, you know, I mean, you know, even finding video at, at Cisco is pretty tough, it, you know, because exactly. there's so much of it. It's, you know, labeled and it's stored on 100 different servers. It's like, how do I even find this stuff? Exactly. So uh, the network-based recording platform actually solves this problem. It is a very highly scalable architecture and open architecture, utilizing the network as the platform. And... Uh, uh, it's also very cost effective and lowers the cost, total cost of ownership for our partners and customers who are going to use this. So it pulls in all different sorts of medias and let you actually process it based on the need. You could, you could write tags on the recording so that the search is faster. And all these APIs are Web 2.0 based. So uh, it's, uh, it's pretty easy to write applications on it. Do you want to, how do you want to manage your recordings? When do you po want to purge them? Do you want to download them into a certain format? Like we provide the download format to MP4 uh, format. Yes. Oh, cool. So I can actually take, you know, video on my mobile phones and stuff because, you know, I don't want to miss any analyst reports. You know, I carry mm -hmm. those with me on my phone all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding about that. <laughs> um, so now you said you, your, your team put together, you and your team put together a demo of how what this could look like then. Absolutely. So because we're talking still about the middle layer here. Before you jump in this, I, just, I still want to cover something that we kind of glossed over a little bit. You said this is an open platform yes. that our customers and, more importantly, our partners, too, can actually write code to and really extend the boundaries of this because being a digital, you know, the, in that, that network recording layer, it does give us the ability to really mine a lot of different directions in. 
Absolutely, absolutely. So it's an appliance, uh, just like our communications manager. Yeah. It runs on WAS, which is voice operating system. It's a Linux-based operating system. Uses also uses Informix as its uh, database to store its configuration information. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Yes, it does, and it's just uh, it's highly available appliance. And uh, as I said, it exposes all sorts of uh, Web 2.0 APIs, like writing, like hit record, start record. Uh, purge record and all other things which you would want to actually record you use you use in your audio or video or screen capture recordings stuff already know how to use mm -hmm. controls mm -hmm. well show me your demo this, this sounds pretty interesting sure. ask yourself how it works so i have actually uh, two demos here today to showcase the power of network based recording okay and one is uh, actually uh, something where i would be actually uh, creating a video blog uh, for my team. So just before we start that, you know, I, I remember something with John Chambers said uh, in at Cisco Live a couple of months back, you know, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's our CEO. Maybe we can, I can introduce him to, <laughs> yeah. to okay, oh. never mind. We, we'll, we'll talk about it later. So yeah. he said, you know, a picture is worth a thousand words, a video is worth a million words. So what better way to communicate with my team than to record a video message to them. So let's pretend I'm a CTO and we are going to launch a new product uh, uh, in the next quarter. So I want to let my marketing and sales team and all the other team members in my team to know about this particular product. Get okay. them excited. So this is our uh, IP phone with the video camera here. And I'm going to use this but, uh, new feature, which is a uh, new phone wow feature uh, built within. It's a reference application. It's not which we ship. Uh, we don't ship this feature. It's just a reference this application. Just a reference app, right? Yes. And I'm going to use this the phone wall to record a message for my team. So I hit this. And I go here. And I s go here. And I said record. And there is an incoming call. And I say, hi, everyone. This is your CTO, Richie Gupta. And I'll update them with the message. And I hang up the call. I come here. Now I go here to finalize the video. And I put it under training because this is a uh, training for a particular new product. So I tag it with training. And I, I don't want to publish it on my show and share. So I just, uh, this is for internal use. That's so cool, just, interactive show and share, that's mm -hmm. cool. And I say no. And then I would just go ahead and close. And I would exit out of this ap application. So I was the CTO, I recorded this message. And as an employee, uh, the employees would come in and they say, okay, looks like there are new messages, new video uh, messages for me. So I just come here again. And I would just say new phone uh, wow app. I would end, uh, access that. I would go and see, look at the video list. And I would just access the training uh, tag. And I would simply play the video message. And I say, hi everyone, this is your CTO, Richie Gupta. And <laughs> that's the, uh, that's that's the cool. application. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, totally be trying it down or sending an email that I'm pretty sure going to delete. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, you get, we get this corporate spam e emails all the time. Exactly. And most of the time I'm deleting them. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like, mm -hmm. dear employees, delete, you know. Exactly. But if it's a video, I'm going to sit and watch it. Exactly. And um, as I said, video is more, much more effective than uh, written text. So let's, uh, very similar to what we showcased right now, is I could do the same thing when I, as an employee, I come into office and I'll open my uh, enterprise social software page portal. Uh, and I could just simply go here. If you look here, uh -huh. there is a record video blog button here. I could just simply click that here and start recording and actually uh, uh, record a message which could be for my manager, my team, or whoever it is meant for. Like so, if, you're, if you're not by your phone, if you're on the road, you're at a trade show, mm -hmm, whatever the case mm -hmm. may be. Yes, yes. And then I could even publish it to my team, my community. Uh, so simple drag and drop uh, that was Cisco Quad. It was. Yes, it that was. That is awesome. Yes. Wow, man. I love Cisco Quad. That's yes. one of my, yes. truly one of my favorite products that really, uh, I just love. I think we can really change a lot of things. And the fact that we can integrate this into Quad mm -hmm. and share that information and then kind of take video anywhere we're at. You know, most machines already have their cameras built in with them. Right, right. So now the fact I've got a, a central place to store these and distribute them, well, that's sweet, man. What a great idea. I love this. Network. Recording, based, recording, network based, based recording, recording platform. Yes. I love it. So, if we want more information about this, where'd be the best place to go? Uh, it'll be available at Cisco.com. Okay, uh, it's un under Unified Communications. Okay, we'll just yeah. put it. We'll just put a link down here. Mm -hmm. um, the whole magic floating link here that that, mm -hmm. are, that the editors put in. We'll put that under so folks can find more information. I love it. Um, you know, I was a little skeptical at first. I'm like. Eh, you know, I uh, I don't know how I can use this. But now I, I don't know the, how I could do without it. To be quite honest, I'm not trying to be Absolutely. a salesman, but this is pretty darn sweet. Absolutely. Richie, thank you so much for coming on TechWise. Really do appreciate it. Thank you, Jerry.
Thank you.